So hi guys, good morning. So today we'll tell you the story of how I wrote I Choose You. But first, let's go for a swim. <laughs> It's such a great swim. <sighs> yeah, so about I Choose You, it was actually one of the first songs that we conceived. Um, but we decided to release G and Exodus first because we felt that our production level was not up to par. So we waited until we knew more about recording and producing before we started, before we started to release I Choose You. This is how he wrote the song. I started playing some chords on the keyboard. Then Justin here, he started singing some crap. It's kind of illegible, but I could decipher some parts of it. And I went home to continue finishing the skeleton. Yeah, and take note that Max doesn't play the keyboard and neither can I sing. If you ever hear me sing, all your ears will be. <laughs> we should show them the, the um, initial recording. Maybe next time, if our song really blows up, then I'll show you the first ever eligible recording that we wrote on iTunes. Protect your ears, guys. <laughs> We still felt that something was missing, so I came up with the initial melody line with the piano and I think that sort of tied the whole song together. So what's the story behind our song? A lot of y'all have been asking us the story behind I Choose You and actually I Choose You was the first song that Justin and I wrote. Um, we wanted to keep our lyrics open and relatable to every single one of you and before we started writing the song, we wanted to base the song on a common theme of toxic relationships um, be it with your friends, your significant other, or with your family. And we wanted to keep the song um, interpretable by every one of you in your own unique ways. And up to today, you know, we haven't discussed who we base this song on, but I guess that's the beauty of music where we can you know, relate with uh, the song in our own unique way. So, time for breakfast. <laughs> So how did we come up with the music video for I Choose You? So previously, our two songs, Exodus and GE, when it was released, I mean, it didn't go viral or anything, but I think we were still pretty happy that we were able to put ourselves out there, especially show the world our music. So when we released I Choose You, we didn't expect it to blow up or anything as well. So I kind of promised Max that if we were able to hit 50k streams with this track, which until now it still blows my mind, that so many of you have listened to it, yeah, that if we were be able to hit 50k, I would produce music videos from him from then on. And I guess that's history and that's why I'm stuck producing all the music videos for him right now. You're not stuck, we are happy. So some of y'all have asked us why our I Choose Songs playlist on Spotify is a picture of me bald. And the story behind it was, you know, there's this renowned Singaporean musician, his name is Benjamin King, and we thought it would be quite fun if we asked him to share I Choose You on his social media platforms, and in return, we'll shave my head. So hi guys, that's basically the story of how we wrote I Choose You. The support that all of y'all have shown us and for the song as well has really given us the drive to continue wanting to make more music that resonates with all of you. Yeah, so if you enjoy song breakdowns like this video over here, um, do leave a comment down below and maybe we'll try to do more of this when we have time. Okay, bye. Peace.
Why are you walking to the camera? Oh, you need to tell the camera As in, you're oh. doing the first scene. After doing the transition It wasn't... Ah, shit. <laughs> so some of y'all may have asked why my picture on iTrue songs is of me 